we are now to discuss about is matter around us pure okay so what do we mean actually by a pure substance uh, as you grow older and get to higher classes you will understand better the meaning of what is a pure substance but currently given your coursework and the limitations that it has we would like to take take up the discussion from your textbook that is your ncert textbook and we'll take we'll borrow the definition from that book itself so here the definition is we'll just copy this and we'll paste it to our place okay and what does it say it says a pure substance consists of a single type of particles in other words a substance is a pure single form of matter so that is the definition of a pure substance so far as we are concerned now talking about impure substances obviously an impure substance will not consist of a single type of particle it will consist of more than a single type of particle that means two or three types of particles such impure substances are also called mixtures okay so we'll write it down we'll say that impure substances may consist of two or more than two particles more than two particles okay and what else also we can say that an impure substance may also be called a mixture right so now talking about mixtures we have to understand whether there are any types involved in the discussion of mixtures yes of course there are two kinds of mixtures so mixtures are of two kinds so one of one kind is called homogeneous and the other is called heterogeneous now let us understand the difference between a homogeneous mixture and a heterogeneous mixture with the help of an example suppose you have container in which you have decided to put some water and inside that water suppose you have decided to put some kind of uh, substance that will dissolve in it like say sugar so you put some sugar in this and you stir it and eventually what will happen the sugar will dissolve in this uh, water so actually what you are having over here is this is a solution this is rather we can say now it is a mixture it is a mixture of sugar and water so now if we take some amount of say this mixture and if we analyze this a uh, small amount of mixture that we have taken from here 
and we see that uh, this mixture contains say 5 grams of sugar and 15 grams or say 10 grams of water that means the volume of the solution has mass of total 15 grams out of which we have 5 gram sugar and 10 gram water. Now the ratio between the mass of sugar and mass of water in this case is 5 by 10 that is 1 by 2. Now suppose we take another part of this mixture and this part is now not 15 but instead it is say 30 gram of mixture. Suppose that is, this is 30 gram of mixture. We shall find that it contains 10 gram of sugar and 20 gram of water. That is the ratio between sugar and water in this part of the mixture is also 1 by 2. So, if we go on taking such samples from this mixture and, and go on analyzing them, we shall always find that whatever be the mass of the sample, the ratio between the mass of sugar and mass of water in that sample will always be 1 by 2. Now, these samples may be collected from any part of this mixture. Such a mixture in which every part of the mixture has components in the same ratio, that is called a homogeneous mixture. Okay? So, we will just quickly write down this definition. So, what is a homogeneous mixture? A homogeneous mixture contains homogeneous mixture contains constituents in the same ratio throughout the volume of the mixture and obviously heterogeneous mixtures will not contain constituents in the same ratio throughout the volume of the mixture. I leave it up to you as an exercise to give some examples of heterogeneous mixtures. We will take a quick break and we will come back and see the different types of homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures. Thank you.